oh my goodness guys i have been waiting on this box to come here for like two months Ugh. i am so excited but like so so nervous to do this so nervous i'm gonna unbox something that a friend sent me and yeah <laughs> okay let's just open it up okay Alrighty. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Look at this, guys. Here, let me get the box out of the way. Girl, do you see this? This is crazy. So I have a friend who collects these bags, basically and restores them, repurposes them, creates other accessories out of them and whatnot. And I always sent this one to do whatever I want to it. Whatever I want. And it comes with this little tag. And then here's this little like buckle thing. I asked what this was for and it's to hold the bag straps together apparently. I don't know much about this, but I just think it's so cool. So this is a Louis Vuitton bag, and I don't even know if I've ever touched one of these before. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. Okay, so you're probably wondering, why did you just open that on an art channel? Like, what? But there is a twist to this. So one of my very best friends sent me this, and we decided that like it would be fun for me to just like paint whatever I want on it and then just send it back. It's like a fun thing to do together. And that's what we did. So I was also sent these paints. And what are these? This is acrylic finisher. Honey, we're getting into some new territory. I'm gonna have to be you two in this stuff. Leather preparer and deglazer. Oh my word, what, what? Yeah, I think before we get started on this, I'm definitely gonna do a lot of research because, you know, don't really wanna ruin a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> wow, okay, the, oh my goodness, these paints are beautiful. Ah, look at this, it is acrylic leather paint. You know your girl's been obsessed with gold lately. I wanna try this. <gasps> wow, this is so cute, guys, look at this. There's so many different colors, hold on, I'll just hold a couple up. Look at these, this is so neat. The only prompt I really got was botanical, which is really cool because we're both like really into botanical things. So I kind of have free reign and I don't know, I'm excited to see where this goes. Let me show you everything up close and then we're gonna get started, woo. Guys, look at this bag. Look at this bag. I'm extremely nervous to do this. I actually, let me get my little charcoal pencil here. I spent like all day looking at videos, looking at inspiration, all sorts of stuff. I tested this stuff on the bottom of the bag, just a little swatch, and it actually stripped the bag a little more than I would want for like what I'm gonna do. So I think I'm going to skip that step. A lot of you guys ask me why I look up in my videos and that's because I have a two camera system going. So when I look up like this, I'm just double checking, making sure things are in frame. So I'll probably do that a lot with this video. All right, we had to back up the camera a little bit so you're seeing the edge of what usually doesn't show in my videos. This bag is huge. It's, it's like a duffel bag. I never even said like what model or anything it is. I don't know much about like purses, I guess. <laughs> um, unless it's like a fossil purse then, yeah. But I think it's like a keep ball, keep ball, keep ball. I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, I'll just I'll just put the information like over there in the video. You can see it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just sketch 
some stuff and hope it shows up. Ooh, it does. This is fancy. Okay. All right, I have a plate here. Nobody told me that this is like a nail polish bottle. It's got like a brush. We are off to a bumpy start. I was told to do a layer of white underneath the things before I actually like paint it. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. But I was told to do this because it makes the other acrylic colors brighter. It's acrylic leather paint. It comes in such a small bottle. I'm afraid I'm gonna use like all this paint and not have any to send back. I'm gonna block in everything. I'm just testing one like leaf before I do all the others. <laughs> most terrifying art project I've ever done in my life. Hold my hand guys, I'm so really scared. Oh my goodness, my adrenaline is going right now. Whew. Okay, we have one leaf outlined <laughs> and ready. Why am I so nervous though? For real. All right, look, I got tired last night. It's the next day now. We are going to start doing some color on these leaves and then just see how it looks. I have a couple colors over here. I'm really excited about this part, you know? This color is so pretty, dude. I hope this doesn't dry like super fast because I just went through a lot to put this on this plate. This is pretty. I can see why I was told now to do white underneath it. Otherwise, this would be like super transparent. You know what I just realized? I have to do the entire other side of this bag too. <laughs> it's gonna be a project, that's for sure. But I'm excited. This is like something very different than what I've ever done before. And it kind of scares me, <laughs> so it kind of makes me want to try extra hard. The biggest challenge I think with this entire bag painting is the bag does not lay flat. What you doing? Well, I'm mixing some paint. I wanted to have like the tips of these leaves be this pretty pink color. It is not working out. I don't think I like that, so I think I'm gonna do something different. <laughs> like what? Um, maybe like blue and yellow. It almost feels like kind of criminal to be painting on this, you know? Are there going to be monkeys? What? Monkeys on the purse. I don't know, the leaves look like there could be monkeys. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. It's hard to like hold the bag and paint on it simultaneously because there's all these wrinkles. It's like they didn't make purses to be painted on. So I have a question. Okay. How do you feel about lawnmowers? All right, dude, don't get me started on those puppies. <laughs> no, I'm trying to get you started. That's why I asked the question. You get me all riled up in a video here? Look. Every time I sit down to film a stupid video, not stupid video, but these stupid lawnmowers make the whole thing just annoying. Everybody in the neighborhood decides to mow the moment I film. I could sit down at like 8 p.m. and somebody decides that's the greatest time to mow. So, that's, that's my rant. And you think it's funny. Cause I was just thinking I should probably go mow our yard. No, not right now. Okay, do you think the tips of the leaves look better like this? And then I'll, I'll shade them, of course, too, like with all the little veins and stuff. Yeah, definitely. So, would you use this purse? If it was a lot smaller, because I think I'm like really tiny, and this is like as big as me. It's like a purse you could put your little dog in. Dude, we could put my mom's dog in here. Yeah. That'd be pretty Especially cool. since it's such a cheap one, doesn't matter if it gets messed up. <laughs> the paint definitely feels like acrylic, so it's not like a 
completely new medium. I mean, it, it is acrylic paint, but it's like for leather. Jacob, do you want me to mail you a dog back with the purse? Yeah, I was gonna say sorry, Jacob, for messing up your purse with all the dogs that we're gonna put in it before we send it back to you. <laughs> You're gonna get like a bag full of hair back. We'll try and <laughs> clean it out. Oh, this is gonna be so cute. I'm like equally scared and equally excited. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me say that. This leaf has like a curve to it. So I'm gonna preserve the curve. I'm a poet, don't you know it, hey? I also just hissed at my paint dish, so that's where we are today. I'm going to like try some glazing and hope it works. Ooh, yes, this works, this works, this works. Oh my goodness, okay, now I feel excited about this. I feel like I have not destroyed things. Cause guys, I was pausing recording this quite a bit, like <gasps> I was so afraid that like I was ruining this. And I texted Jacob a couple times, like stressing out and he's like, just paint the bag, it's okay. Like I don't care what you do to it. But anyway, my friend, um, buys these bags and usually like repurposes them into other objects. It's like really cool actually. And he just like gets old bags off of like eBay and stuff. But yeah, I was sent this one to just do whatever I wanted to it and send it back. If any of you guys enjoy acrylic painting, totally try this sometime. Does anybody raise their eyebrows when they sip, like, smoothies, like? Or do you keep them down, like? I don't know what I do now. This is the bag so far. I'm just doing a little check-in. I painted the other side off camera, that way, we could expedite things a little bit. So far, I've probably spent like five hours painting this, four or five hours. Now, what I want to do is paint some palm leaves, like here and there. Keeping it kind of minimal though, I want a lot of the leather on the purse to show through, so we're not gonna go like super heavy with it. I think the purse or duffel bag kind of thing is really pretty as it is. So we're just doing little accents. But later, I'm gonna take the sides of the bag and do like monstera leaves. So that's where we're headed, if you're curious. I'm just gonna mix up some paint. Here's my plate. <laughs> Freehanding is a little nerve wracking near the edges of the bag. Let's just like everybody calm down. <laughs> calm down. Flatten out and let me do some magic. Whew, girl, that was some stress. Tell you what, it's just a line, right? You can tell it's really hot in my studio. This footage is very unflattering. <laughs> just, just look at the purse, it's gonna be really hard. I should have like stuffed this. I just so happened to have this pillow. Oh my, this might work. I'm just gonna try this. I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> I just so happen to have this other pillow. Let's just see what happens. If you're wondering why there is a pile of pillows below me, I mean like, they're everywhere. It is because this room is a little echoey right now. Um, it will be redone probably soon. That's why my background kind of sucks. This is tough. It's like a pillowcase, but it's really extra. What do you keep in your LV? Couch pillows? Oh man, I don't know. Now it's just gonna be hard to film. So, uh, like if I could rack it up like that, then y'all would never see me again. Will we ever have a normal video on my channel? This is 
what you signed up for, guys. Isn't that exciting? Guys, let me know if you've ever done something like this. Like, have you ever customized one of your bags or, like, purses? Apparently, this is a huge thing. You know, I kind of feel like the pillow thing helped. You, j you guys just can't see it, like, super good. I feel like a bag hugger. I'm, like, hugging this thing just to paint on it. But you know what? This may look really awkward and not aesthetically pleasing to be painting some inflated bag. But I'm comfy. I'm like leaning up on this thing. I'm like, hey, let's paint. I wish all my paintings were this like plushy. Oh. So I'm I'm not bothered. And if it's less pretty, whatever. Your girl has been painting all day. I'm not musically talented. Guys. It's so awkward to film the side of this bag. We're gonna see what we can do, but I might just be back in a minute. All right, yeah. Yeah, so I've been working on this for two days, actually, and <laughs> I really did do it last night. Yeah, because yesterday you were all stressed out about starting it. And then you finally like started a little bit and you said, okay, I feel better because I actually started it and I'll just work on it tomorrow morning. You're right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I finished it and it was a little awkward to film some parts, but the, um, the ends of the bag, just getting the right camera angle was a battle and I tried like five different things. It was just easier for me to like lay it on the floor between my legs and paint it that way. It was just the comfiest. So there's actually a couch pillow in this right now too because it just made it easier for me to like get all the wrinkles out. <laughs> but yeah, the ends are Monstera leaves and I thought they turned out really cool. I tried to keep everything simple. I wanted the color palette to just be like greens, blues, little hints of yellow. These are palm leaves. These are supposed to be like little birds of paradise leaves if you're curious. Plant geeking. Anyway, yeah, this is it, and it's actually, like, pretty heavy, because this couch cushion weighs... Couch, couch cushion. Pillow. Couch pillow. It is 1 a.m. This is rough, dude. <laughs> it's kind of heavy, actually, so this is awkward, but yeah. So the next thing I have to do is put this acrylic finisher on it, and this just kind of seals the deal, protects everything, and restores that, like, uh, coating, you know. But... I'm gonna let everything sit for like a day, air out, before I go over it with that, cause it's a little hot out right now and some of this is still a little tacky. I don't wanna go over that yet. <laughs> Plus I'm tired. It's my plate. All the colors I used. Actually, I didn't use this red at all, I don't think. Anyway, yeah, that's the bag. Hey, it's kinda... just, do I get anywhere I could find a pillow? I'm so exhausted. I just want to sleep on this floor right well, now. Well, do I have the solution for you? Do you? Yeah, fidgeting. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. It's also kind of big. There you go! Your pillow! How dramatic. Alright, I'm going to sleep. Okay, me too. Uh, good night, guys. By the time you see this, it's it's probably a new day. I hope you're caught up on sleep, because that's what I'm going to go do now, okay? Alright, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>